Hello everybody and welcome to part one of my attempt one of Has Been Heroes and we are about to start a new game. This is a game that um, I bought along when it came when it first came out I bought it and I played a little bit of it and I realized how hard it was and then, then I stopped. Um, and then recently I picked it back up and started playing it and here's all the characters that I unlocked. I unlocked a decent amount of them so far but I'm not, I'm not the best at this game but I have done some pretty cool things with it. Um, I have a few of the young, the young heroes. Uh, I just got one more challenge to unlock to unlock the other heroes. But um, here in this case, we are going to um, pretty much just try and go through the game. And, I, and during it, I'm going to do like a a tutorial type of uh, walkthrough as well. Uh, so for this one, I'm going to be using Thanatos, uh, Car C, and Rojo C. Um, I was contemplating whether or not I wanted to use Car D or not, but honestly, I think Car C is better. Uh, so we'll hit New Game, and we will proceed. Uh, so this is a game that a lot of people don't like because of how hard it is, or like they don't understand it or something. Welcome and... We are in the dark forest now, and I I like this game. I I've especially just recently I've really really gotten into it into it and uh, you know and, and kind of understood it a little bit more. I'm playing on the Switch version of it, and uh, so the right stick pretty much just takes control of it. As you can tell, X, Y, and B are your characters, and you can switch them around. Just hitting X and then hitting Y on the next person. And everybody has their health, which this guy has 260. Rojo has 915. And Thanatos has 250. And you can tell uh, the stamina, which is the green little squares. Um, that's pretty much per hit how much they can take before they get hurt. So Rojo can obviously take four hits before he will actually be damaged. Um, these are spells which I will go over when we get into a fight uh, so Rojo has poison immunity and he has fire immunity and Carr has poison immunity uh, later on we will get into us trying to get a whole bunch of different items that will allow us to be immune to both fire and poison for all everybody so we don't get hurt from certain certain boss fights Okay, so I started out pretty terrible. Oh, God, this is going to be awful. Uh, so, yeah, this is not looking good already. Oh, God. Uh, so, I'm going to use this poison potato, which is going to take some stamina away from this guy right here. He's down to now three, or well, technically four it was. Okay. So, I hit him. We're going to bounce this guy back a little bit. We are going to let him hit him. He's going to attack the guy behind him, which is decent. All right, all right. So he's dead. Uh, I'll let him attack him. Hopefully, he can attack him. All right, nice. All right, so take him down. And something, something I'm gonna go, sh I'm gonna show very soon is, so when you attack somebody, obviously you are in front, or technically in the back of an enemy. Once you do this, you can actually attack from from behind and do a lot more damage than than normal. And as you can tell, times one, times two, and times three, everybody has their own type of attack that they can do. And what that pretty much is... Oh, God, this is not good. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, so I already got hurt, and now we are both stuck. All right, so we lost one stamina. That's not terrible, but things are not looking very good right now. All right. All right, so a few stats that I've, I've probably just haven't gone over yet. Just because I'm focusing, it's just like, uh, you know, simple things like, since uh, Car and Rojo have their 
unique versions unlocked, they have a little more added bonus than the normal ones. Rojo obviously has the immunity, which he he starts with that regardless. Um, but I think this this Rojo has I'm wanting to say added damage boost and then a certain amount of like uh, melee recharge or something of that sort. Uh, nothing great, but okay. Yeah, we're about to actually run out of time. Ooh, I just want to kill him. All right, nice. We did it. So whenever you defeat a what I like to call round of enemies, you get a twenty gold bonus, and that's actually very helpful for later on. Uh, so this guy is an item seller. I never really use those because it's a waste of money. All right, so there's oh nice, very nice. Okay, we got lucky right there, but we're about to run into a, another uh, another round of enemies. So if you can tell in the center, there's our money, 382, zero keys, and we have two keys, or uh, sorry, uh, two candles. Let's say I wanted to go and fight these guys right here. I can go over there, but when I come back to the stamina place right here. I will use up a candle. And that will pretty much obviously be very risky regardless of what I was wanting to do anyways. Okay, so we just do this. Utilize some of it. Oh, that's right. Another one of his bonuses is his charm ability. Which is very nice to, um, to have enemies attack each other and all that, which you've seen just a minute ago. Or in the, in the last round anyways. And if that guy right there would have lived, he would have probably went backwards a little bit to give you a little, 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 a little breather. But all right, so I might have just cut a little bit, had a pause for a moment. All right, so we have a decent amount of people coming our way now, but things are looking up because we're about to get a one of our, uh, actually, yeah, first spell. So, of course, we have the four spells we have already, but the spell we're about to get is a very nice bonus because, uh, oh god, this is not looking good. Uh, I sh probably shouldn't have done that, but oh well. He's poisoned now, and so is his brother. Alright, so this guy's dead. Yep, alright. Two dead. So, the guy with the chain and ball, he can actually attack you from a distance and it's kind of a pain that's why that that's why I allowed that one person to hit me because of that all right so we're about to get a few more enemies dead all right double kill nice Okay, so once we defeat him, uh, that should be all of it. This will be our first time actually defeating them before the countdown meter. All right, nice. So the lightning spells are pretty decent. Um, I think most players of this game have a certain spell type that they like, or element-wise, you know, anyways, I should say. Uh, so we got Astral Winds, which is a wind spell. So as you can tell, wind spells knock further, knock enemies further back uh, that's a very nice bonus uh, so we'll use it for him uh, Rojo spells are very slow right now uh, car spells are pretty nice and especially if he hits lower than I think it is 45 or 35 I think it's 45 uh, he will get a few spells to um, here, I'll just show it I guess is it 35? Oh, it is 35. Okay, it's less than 35. It will recharge faster by 6 seconds, which is pretty handy. Okay, so I'm going to go this way just in case. I can actually buy something. Alright, so it's 80. Um, normally, I would get this. I would risk it. Um, but I'm interested in seeing if there's another sp a spell seller somewhere. Ah, oh, that's so risky. Um, let's do it. 
I'm feeling risky right now. All right, let's go on. All right, so it's card cartographer, which pretty much just gives you the locations of certain things. I'm pretty sure they only happen during the map that you're in. So let's say if we got this, I'm pretty sure in the next area when we go and defeat the boss. Oh, Christ. Okay, so let's see if there's an... Ah, oh, there's not. Okay. So we could have got a, a random spell right here. Um, it doesn't matter which element type, but that's alright. We'll gain spells later on. That that item we just picked up is actually pretty handy, especially whenever we fight uh, some some of the bosses and all that later on. Okay, so this is the first boss. He's pretty simple. Um, let's give it to Thanatos. This is actually probably the easiest boss in the game in general. Oh, we got a 500 C. That just kind of made it worthwhile. All right, so his specialty is kind of... Oh, Christ. What? Anyways, his specialty is kind of having enemies or not really kind of like his shadow I guess you could say appear out of nowhere and start attacking me okay so obviously it's not alright we'll give it to him again because he's about to die regardless whoever actually fights him is gonna but doing it this way is pretty simple and just like that we beat the first boss we are back up to 272 Coins, one key, and three candles. So I just wanted to do a quick entrance to this game real fast um, as we get into the um, into it. I'm gonna probably do one zone per video. Um, and what it, my my what my plan is, I'm gonna have three attempts over the next. I'm gonna probably do the next one um, in February, and then the last one in March. Um, and see what happens with these videos, because I, I enjoy the game, so I, I just wanted to um, kind of showcase off the game and uh, and give my own little bit of a tutorial of it. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Of course, like and subscribe if you liked this video, and stay tuned for some more of Has Been Heroes as we take on the desolation in attempt number one, and I'll see you guys then.